Hi guys, this is Marcus again from Matchball Tennis. Welcome to my first and exclusively spoken video in English from me to you. Today I would like to talk about uh, a few things that I often noticed the last over 30 years um, with hobby tennis players, or let's call them just for fun tennis players. Often you see the same problems, yeah? Let's call them problems and not mistakes, because mistake, I think, is something that uh, sounds quite negative, and uh, often you cannot do it, you cannot undo it, but a problem you can solve, yeah? But one of these things is that I have the feeling that most of these players clinch the grip of their tennis racket far too strong. And I compare it with holding a pen. It's the same thing. You notice this is a pen and it's quite heavy because it's made of iron. And if I, can, if I do not hold it very strong, I tend to lose it. Yeah? So if you watch these players, you see they are clinching the grip of their tennis racket far too strong. And if I clinch the grip of my tennis racket too strong here, the effect is that my arm, my hitting arm, is far too tight also. And you see all this muscle thing going on and whatever. So the problem is, if you, in comparison, uh, if you look at the very good players, the professional players, Often when we uh, watch matches on TV and you see the service preparation of these players behind the baseline. They're doing in front the thing with the ball, yeah, tipping the ball, and the camera often sees also the hitting arm when it's back there, yeah. And then you can see that before they start their motion for the service, they are doing this thing with the fingers. So they they want to make sure that they are also not clinching the grip of the racket too strong because clinching too strong here with your hand means that your arm is getting tight. So where is the problem if your hitting arm is getting too tight? Well, it's quite obvious. What we need in tennis or in modern tennis is creating speed in a dynamic motion of our strokes. And you can only accelerate your hitting arm if your hitting arm is not tight. You can try the same thing on the tennis court next time when you're there. Try to tighten up, show your muscles and do the same speed thing. And then try to let it relax, let it loose. So the arm from, from the wrist here to your shoulder up here should always be relaxed yeah then you can do this kind of thing very fast and if you see the the whole motion the whole stroke motion hitting motion you can divide into certain parts in five parts usually but the most uh, important part for me is what kind of acceleration is starting from here to hitting point so all the good players you can watch even if they start their motion looking quite easy yeah quite cool but they are going to accelerate down there and then above the other shoulder yeah elbow comes here and then there's the acceleration so that's from my opinion you can maybe you can you can uh, uh, tell me if you if you can do it I can't do it that's only possible to accelerate here when your arm is not too tight that's the thing for today just only one thing for today uh, for this video I wish you a nice weekend wherever you are and maybe you would like to visit us here in the beautiful south of Carinthia in Austria at Golf Tennis and Spa Hotel Mori near the Klopina Sea, Klopina Lake. Greetings, Marcus. Bye bye.